Hi, in this problem we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane solution. The first step when finding the equation of the tangent plane is to set everything equal to zero. We'll start by subtracting three. We have x squared plus y plus z minus three, and that is equal to zero. The next thing we want to do is we'll call this big F and we're going to compute the gradient of big F. The gradient of big F, x, y, z, is a vector, and it's going to be orthogonal to our plane. So it's going to be the normal vector we're going to use to construct our plane. Recall the equation of a plane is simply ax minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c z minus z1 equals zero where the vector ABC is orthogonal to the plane. So in this case, um, this vector will be orthogonal to our plane. So the first component of the gradient is the partial derivative with respect to x. In this case, it's simply 2x. The second component is the partial with respect to y, which in this case is 1. The third component is the partial with respect to z, which in this case is 1. Again, it's fx, fy, fz, just computing partials here, which I'm sure you've seen before. So when you find the partial with respect to x, everything else is constant. So when you differentiate, it's all zero, and then you just get 2x here with the power rule. When you find the partial with respect to y, the derivative of y is one, and the derivative of everything else is zero, because it's all constants. When you find the partial with respect to z, the derivative of z is one, and the derivative of everything else is zero, because you treat them as constants. So we want the gradient at one, one, one. So the gradient at one, 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 with the tangent plane at that point. Well, plugging in a one for x will just give us two, so two, one, one. All right, good stuff. So now we just plug everything into our formula. I'll write the formula again down here. It's a times, I'll use x1. You can use x0 or whatever. Then b, y minus y1. And then c, z minus z1. And that's all equal to zero. Now we just plug everything in. Um, our point is 1, 1, 1, so x1, y1, and z1 are all 1s. This will be 2 times x minus 1 plus 1. This is our a, our b, and our c. y minus 1 plus, and then c is also 1, and then that's z minus 1. And that's all equal to 0. You could leave it like this. I usually prefer to leave it like this, but I'll go ahead and just finish it up. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 1 times y is y. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 times z is z. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and that's equal to 0. And I guess at this point, we can cancel some stuff. So we've got 2x plus y plus z. And it looks like we have minus 4 here, and that's equal to 0. So I'll add up the four over, so two x plus y plus z, and that's equal to four. And this would be the equation of the tangent plane at one, one, one. And again, really not that hard. The first thing you do is just set it equal to zero, compute the gradient, plug in your point, and that gradient vector is going to be the uh, normal vector for your plane. And you just plug it into the regular equation of a plane. So um, there's different ways of thinking about it. Different books explain it differently. I like to think about it as just the equation of a plane, right? And then your normal vector is gonna be your gradient and you're good to go. The catch is you do have to set it equal to zero uh, first. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully you've learned something, even just a little bit. Good luck.